What's up, ladies and gentlemen? God, there's so much happening on this market right now. Uh, everything's blowing up. Ethereum's uh, breaking uh, above all-time highs. Bitcoin's even pumping too. And ADA, guys, ADA has broken above the key resistance level of 40 cents. Yesterday, I put out a video saying ADA is very likely to break out within the next week. Uh, in the very next day, we broke out above key resistance. Um, guys, this is a big deal. In this video, we're going to run through some tactical analysis because there's a few... Uh, contingencies that, that you guys like there's so many things to know in this market there's, and I'm gonna in this video hopefully explain to you the most important things that you need to know in order to understand what Cardano is gonna do both in the short term and in the long term so guys please like subscribe comment share hit that bell icon like notified new uploads because it really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm and you guys get to stay up to date with time sensitive critical technical and fundamental analysis with all your favorite altcoins so let's delve into this guys uh, Cardano broke above the key resistance point of 40 cents. And if we can get a daily uh, candle uh, close, uh, the full body candle close above 40 cents, that is a very, very good sign here. So I have said in the past that my short term, and now I'm going to talk about my long term price targets and and, uh, and, 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 and kind of when to know when to sell a Cardano near the end of the video, so don't go away. But my short term price target is kind of 60 cents for Cardano. If, and this is a big if, folks, don't just go aping into this because I say that, if we can hold above 40 cents and that is a question an open question because we're starting to see a few bearish signs so let's delve into the technicals and our indicators here now actually before we go to the lower time frames i just want to show you guys this bullish crossover on the daily on the daily macd that is a big deal ladies and gentlemen that is a big deal to have a bullish crossover on the daily macd Everything's on the way up on the daily. So macro trend, we look very, very bullish. We broke out bullishly out of a very macro uh, triangle. So the macro outlook for Cardano looks extremely bullish. Now, while that is the case, we're starting to see some signs in the short term that we could be uh, a bit overextended and therefore might have a bit of a pullback. I think the best we can hope for at this point is just sideways consolidation, but we could have more of an extended pullback. As long as Cardano can hold above 40 cents, it looks good. If we start to close below 40 cents, then we have to rethink Cardano's price structure. You have to rethink this breakout. But as long as Cardano's above 40 cents, I think 60 cents is happening sooner rather than later. Look at this stochastic RSI bearish crossover in the oversold. RSI in the, um, sorry, sorry, overbought region. My apologies. Overbought. RSI is overbought. I get excited sometimes, folks. And the MACD is uh, taken up. Oh, sorry, taken down, taken down. So we're starting to see some signs of some bearishness. Same with the four hour. Look at that bearish crossover in the four hour weighted MACD. So the hourly time frames are looking potentially bearish. One hour, bearish cross from the MACD, everything's down. Um, look at this, Stochastic wanted to have that leg up, it couldn't. So, so yeah, the, the lower time frames look bearish. So just to kind of, yeah, even 30 minute, it looks bearish. Uh, now, we could, we're we oversold on, on the on the 30 minute. So we could have a, um, a leg up here. So just to kind of summarize my thoughts here, I think best case uh, we can look out for here with Cardano is staying above 40 cents. If we start to close, close below 40 cents, not just wait, but close below, uh, I think we have to rethink uh, Cardano's price structure. I'll put out new videos telling you guys my thoughts. But as long as we can stay above 40 cents, I think 60 cents in the short term is, uh, is very reasonable. But don't go away because there's a more important thing to understand with Cardano, which is... Cardano will soon be releasing their Gogan mainnet, mainnet with a lot of their core functionalities. So guys, this is a big deal. Cardano's uh, mainnet is basically set to launch, well, it is set to launch um, around the end of quarter one, 2021, around March. So guys, that is a big, big goddamn deal. I definitely think that... Um, that that Cardano is going to do well if and when uh, they they do release that uh, that um, that their their mainnet. E even um, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I wouldn't be. I really think Cardano is probably going to have like an anticipatory an anticipatory run up leading up to their main launch. Uh, even if their main launch isn't successful, which I mean, uh, everything. I mean, I have no reason to think that they, it wouldn't be successful. But I guys like even as a swing trade, like if you wanted to hold up until the um, the the mainnet launch and then sell there and take profits. I, I definitely think that's not a bad idea because uh, I think Cardano is very likely to have an anticipatory run up leading up to their mainnet launch, uh, March, you know, end of quarter 2021. So, um, you know, even if you were to set as a swing trade, you know, along here, you set your stop loss a little bit below 40 cents. Let's say, let's say you guys want to take it like a swing trade. And that we're not talking about long term bag holding, but let's say, let's say you want to take a swing, tra uh, swing trade. You enter, let's just, for example, I, I'm not saying I would enter here. I'm just saying, for example, 
let's say one were to enter here, one could place their stop loss, you know, a little bit below 40 cents, give it some breathing room, let's say 38 cents, right? And then you could set your stop loss to, you know, 60 cents. That, that would be a risk reward ratio of 3.85. You're risking 10, 10%, 10.5% to make 40%. That is a reasonable swing trade in my opinion, folks. I'm not telling you to do that. We could definitely fall below uh, 38 cents. That is 100% a possibility. Uh, we need to keep our eye out for Ethereum and Bitcoin. They lead, they lead the market. If they decide to tank, that's definitely going to have an effect on the altcoins. As well, to understand what Cardano can do, we need to keep our eye out for Bitcoin dominance. I keep harping on this because it's an important uh, indicator to look at to kind of get a, a feel, to kind of gauge what the altcoins can do. Whenever Bitcoin dominance falls, altcoins typically benefit. Whenever it rallies and rises, altcoins typically suffer. For those who don't know, Bitcoin dominance is the total value of, Bit of Bitcoin in comparison to the total value of all cryptocurrencies. So right now, we can see that Bitcoin is worth 62.97% of the entirety of cryptocurrency market. So... Um, if we if we start to rally, that could be a factor that puts the dampers on the altcoins, such as Cardano. If we start to fall, that could be a factor that's telling you, hey, altcoins are really doing well right now. So this is an important chart to, get to uh, keep an eye out for, as well Bitcoin and Ethereum, obviously. And again, guys, go get mainnet launch is uh, is is quickly approaching. So uh, I mean, I'm holding my Cardano for the long term. I'm going to be looking to scale out late third quarter, early fourth quarter this year. I think Bitcoin is likely to reach its peak. Uh, late September, early October this year, and Ethereum and the altcoins are likely to peak out roughly a month after Bitcoin. So, guys, those are my thoughts. Um, uh, just, yeah, I, I guess I'll to summarize with this. If we fall back within these ranges, these green boxes, this, this is where I would be looking to accumulate. There's lots of volume building up uh, in these in, in these ranges. But, guys, look, if we fall below 40 cents, we need to rethink the price structure. If we close below 40 cents, like if this was if this was like a fake out to the upside and we fall back down and mess around in these ranges, I'll be making new videos updating you guys on, on what I think is most valid for, for the price structure then. But for the moment, as long as Cardano is above 40 cents, I think 60 cents is a matter of time. And with the uh, Cardano... Uh, uh, mainnet with Gogan launching uh, pretty soon. Um, that could be, I think that's going to be an extremely, extremely bullish catalyst for a Cardano. Uh, and just to wrap up, to summarize with my long term price predictions, I've, I've explained to you my timelines, but what do I think Cardano could do? Look, guys, nobody knows for sure. These price predictions are all for fun because. Because nobody knows for sure. People have like guesstimates, there's think tanks, there's banks there that put out like guesses and what they think Bitcoin and Ethereum can do. And you can extrapolate based on like, you know, if Ethereum and Bitcoin can do this, what could the altcoins do? And you could like extrapolate based on market caps. Ultimately, no one knows for sure. But could the low dollars for Cardano happen? I definitely think that's possible. Could, could you know, uh, two, you know, two, two to five dollars for Cardano. Is that possible at the peak of this bull run? I definitely think that is possible. You know, if we take, if Cardano does a 20x at this point, it would reach $80. Could Cardano do a 20, uh, sorry, $80. Apologies, folks. $8. If Cardano at 40 cents does an 8x, uh, sorry, <laughs> so many numbers, guys. I, <laughs> if Cardano at 40 cents does a 20x, it could reach $8. Is that a guarantee? Absolutely not. Is that theoretically possible? I think so. Uh, you know, low low to mid dollars for Cardano, I think is definitely, definitely possible in the long term. So guys, I, you know, I hope I've armed you guys with all the knowledge uh, you need to succeed uh, in Cardano. Uh, you know, th these are kind of like the main things you need to understand if you're in Cardano. And just to kind of leave you guys with this visualization, you know, we were in this macro ascending triangle here. If we take the height of the ascending triangle and we take the breakout point here, can we hit 60 cents? Maybe. So, folks, stay tuned to this channel. Like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell button to find a new post. Check out our Discord. Link for that will be down in the description. If you guys want to trade these markets, I highly recommend Bybit. It's by far the uh, easiest and best exchange we've used for trading. Uh, please be careful with leverage trading. It is very risky. Never invest anything you're not willing to lose. Trading can be extremely, extremely risky, especially if you're new. If you're new, we do not recommend trading at all. If you're experienced and you want to try out uh, what we think is is, is an extremely uh, user-friendly platform check out bybit link down in the description as well guys if you want to um, uh, use uh, one of the most powerful uh, research tools there is in in token in, uh, in crypto we, we recommend token metrics there's a link down in the description below it's an ai fueled price predictions and portfolio suggestions platform a uh, link for that will be down in the description below they have like a a paid like trial um you get like uh i think it's 10 bucks for like a week or something anyways check that out link down in the description all right folks take care